If you're following along on a day-by-day -day basis, I know that yesterday's exercise was definitely more challenging, and so I wanted to give a little bit different kind of exercise today and walk through something that was maybe a little bit more straightforward but still very useful to know, and that is how to work with infinity in Ruby. So infinity obviously means that it is a number span that has no end, and it can be a helpful tool, and it's definitely helpful to simply know that it exists. Now, I do want to say that what we're going to implement is most likely you're going to usually use the range setup inside of Ruby typically, but I do want to show you how you could leverage infinity in order to do that. So what I'm going to do is if you look at the test, you can see that there's a method called string infinity generator, and it takes a argument of a number. And this number is going to essentially give us the ability to say how long and how many string elements that we want created. If you look at the test, what we need to do is create a range of strings and they're going to be string-based integers. So we have one, two, all the way through 10, and then one through five when five is the argument. So it's pretty basic, but there is a very specific module call that we're going to need in order to get this to work. Because we're gonna combine this with the range operator, I'm just gonna start off by declaring an array. Now usually you're gonna to wanna to use a little bit more of a functional approach, but with this one, this is gonna be able to show you exactly how the infinity system works. So I'm gonna say one dot dot, float colon colon infinity and that's going to be all capitalized and then I'm just going to iterate over each one of these passing in I as a block variable and then I'm just going to pipe in the array and I'm going to pass in I cast it to a string and then I'm going to say break if I is equal to the number and then at the very end, right before this end right here, I'm just gonna pass in the array. And this is all we need to do. So this is a very basic, a little bit more of a naive approach because usually the only time you're gonna wanna use each is when you are actually wanting to show something as opposed to changing data. So, uh, but when it comes to being able to work with one and then go to infinity. The reason why I'm not doing that is because if you try to do something like this where you cast it to an array, what Ruby's gonna try to do is when it calls that method, it's gonna try to take and create an array of elements of one to infinity, which that's impossible. The infinity never ends. So if you tried to call this, you're gonna get a error. So by calling each though, what this does is it doesn't create infinity. It's almost kind of a lazy approach of doing it and lazy in a good sense. It simply is gonna go on infinitely until you tell it to stop. And that's where this line eight comes in, where we say, I want to break if I is equal to the number. So in the case of line 16, if I is equal to 10, and then on line 20, if I is equal to five. So that, that's the reason why I did this approach, because if you tried to do it in more of the conventional way, then you're gonna end up with some weird behavior. So I'm gonna say string infinity generator, let's pass in 17. Running this, we should get an array of elements that is one through 17, all as strings. And as you can see there on line 14, that is exactly what we get. So that works nicely. If I clear out the result output and run these tests, this is for March 18th. If I run this, you can see we have two examples. They're both passing. And so now we have created a string-based infinity generator in Ruby.